Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. For today's video, we are going to be talking about some email etiquette when you're emailing people about your interest in joining an organization. So if you'd like to learn more, you can keep watching this video. So there are certain words that I'd recommend avoiding when you're emailing people, including myself, about your interest in joining an organization. Two of my main words that I'd recommend not using when you're emailing people about your interest would be the words pledge and line. These words are very important not to use when you're emailing or talking to people about wanting to join Greek Life because they are 100% associated with hazing and unsanctioned processes with the intake process. So make sure that you're being very careful in your verbiage and the words that you choose because it's not seen as very polite or even very uh, proper in etiquette to use these types of words because these organizations do not use them in their verbiage when they're talking about membership intake. Good words to use can be found on my channel. I have other videos in relation to words you should not use, so make sure you watch those videos so that you're more aware. My other piece of advice for people who are interested in emailing or just learning more about etiquette in general is to pay attention to the timing. Timing is very important when you're messaging people about your interests because there are different times and different seasons where things occur. If you don't know anything about intake timelines, take a look at my video on intake timelines. It gives you the ins and outs and behind the scenes information on intake so that you're aware. But pay attention to the timing because sometimes when you email an organization, the day of or uh, 24 hours prior, the organization or the members aren't going to get back to you right then and there. Why is that? Because organizations are just like businesses. Sometimes it takes more than 24 hours for them to respond. Some people take a minimum of 48 to 72 hours to respond. So just know that if you email someone that day, myself included, uh, you probably won't get a response until the next day or even the day after because you have to remember that it's still a business. Also be mindful of business hours. Some organizations are not available 24-7. Well, no organization is available 24-7. So if you send an email or a message at 10 or 11 o'clock at night or even on a Friday, don't expect to get a response the following day or during the weekend. It may be the following Monday or so on and so forth. So just make sure you're paying attention to the timing of when you send messages out. Another thing about timing that I want you guys to be aware of is the season itself. Organizations have uh, calendars. I was going to say sorority calendars, but organizations have calendars. What does that mean? It means that they have their peak seasons where they're highly available, highly active on their social media and emails and things like that. And then they have downtime. Downtime usually takes place in the summertime when you're emailing or messaging. Just be mindful of the season that you're in because some organizations have that downtime that that downtime rest period where they're not responding to anything because they're not active, so to speak. They're not uh, in their new sorority or fraternity year and they're not responding to emails as quickly as they usually would. Jax, you're supposed to be sitting down the whole time so people can see you. My next and final piece of advice for people who are interested in expressing interest is to be careful of the verbiage. Using words like or phrases like I want to join, I'm interested in joining are very, uh, very vague in a sense or very eager sounding if I'm going to be honest and some organizations do not accept solicitation for membership so make sure that you are aware of your organization's protocol in terms of do they accept solicitation or not that would be the very first question that I ask you guys when you're interested in joining an organization and you want to reach out is do you know their protocol do they accept solicitation for membership and if they do you can always you know say those phrases of I would like to learn more about your organization things like that but if they do not accept solicitation for membership, check out my video on how to navigate those words so that you are aware. So this is basically my advice for anyone who is interested in learning about email etiquette or social media etiquette. If you guys have questions, you're more than welcome to reach out. Check out my services on my website. They have changed. My DM protocol has changed. So make sure you guys are reading before you reach out. Make sure you guys are watching the videos before you reach out so that you know what's going on. My intake prep course has also updated because we are in intake season so things have changed so make sure that you guys are reading and that you're aware before you sign up for anything but if you guys have any questions let me know if you like this video give me a thumbs up like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time